Right then, to finish off, we are uh, still dealing with media controls. Um, we have uh, dealt with uh, issues of data remnants. Um, the, the concepts here are not different. Um, it's just the issues of uh, you know, it's if it's digital media, um, we do have an option to overwrite, um, whereas other types of uh, media we are probably looking at uh, physical destruction. And so, again, as we have discussed before in terms of media controls, um, media librarians, um, policies, uh, you know, what can we do with regard to all of this stuff? And I, we do have the two considerations. We have to have availability. We are uh, trying to ensure that we have backups if we, uh, you know, this is important to us uh, to have for uh, certain reasons and for certain periods of time. And then uh, probably equally, we then want to get rid of it and we have to have the right procedures and policies uh, and facilities in place for for dealing with that. So, uh, factors to consider. Uh, first off, <laughs> well, first, last, and always, the sensitivity of the information. How how important an asset is this? How important an asset is it for us to have? And then, how important? Uh, is it that nobody else has it if we have it or even if we don't have it? Um, so, you know, what is the, the sensitivity there? Um, what type of information is it? What value does it have? And what factors uh, go into that value? Uh, we've talked about this before. Well, right back at the beginning. Uh, information classification and security management and we uh, we need to always consider this and did let that consideration uh, drive and determine what we are going to do with the information and with the media that it is contained on so uh, the sensitivity, the quantity of the information, you know, how much um, data are we looking at? And uh, in, in some cases, uh, certain items out of that information is, is vitally important. Um, but the, the bulk of it may not be. In a sense, sometimes... Um, if nobody else can figure out how to determine which pieces of information are important, then simply the pure bulk of the information itself is, in a sense, a protective measure. Um, however, uh, that is not something to rely on. That <laughs> really is security by obscurity. And no, it's, it's not... Uh, something that we can rely on uh, in <laughs> almost any situations, but it you know it is a a possibility at the very least. But we need to know uh, you know very well what type of information it is um, and how other people see that information uh, if we're dealing with it. But um, the the pure quantity of the information has a uh, definite consideration. You know, what type of media are we storing it on? Um, 
Oh, I remember one uh, a company that I worked for, um, they had a technology uh, which they were using for um, uh, imaging, uh, turning uh, vast amounts of data into images. Uh, and the, uh, the person who had uh, given them the, the idea for the device that did this imaging for them, um, well, some of the uh, imaging that they did, actually, was the most effective way of storing the information. Huge amounts of data that went into this and um, plotting it out at very high resolution and, and uh, in a, a manner that could actually be machine recovered. Um, he got the idea then, well, you know, why is this just for um, image type data? Why not uh, use it for uh, storing data? And uh, so that's what he did. He he produced, uh, went and started a different company, uh, did not do um, imaging, but did uh, pure data storage uh, devices onto film. And uh, it was a extremely uh, high density and uh, actually very high speed uh, storage as well. Uh, in comparison to the uh, storage media that was available at the time, it was uh, really quite phenomenally effective. Uh, so, uh, you know, we have different technologies and, and what do we do with uh, the media when we have it? Um, the uh, timing considerations, you know, as I keep on saying, you know, what, uh, what is the value of yesterday's uh, stock market page in the newspaper? Uh, what is the value of tomorrow's stock market page uh, in the newspaper? So it's, uh, you know, the timing, um, you know, how, when is the information valuable? When is the information no longer valuable? Um, although, as I said before, uh, in some cases, that value is not in the information itself, but in the um, reputational damage it will do to your company if, indeed, uh, you fail to protect the information properly. So, all of that. Um, we've got the media. Uh, we have paper. We have magnetic media. We have various uh, forms of electronic storage. Um... And, of course, we've got, you know, good old dumpster diving uh, going after the paper. Uh, but, as, you know, in, in terms of object reuse, also, uh, uh, our electronic devices that we may carelessly discard. Uh, what is going to happen with that? Uh, there may be uh, legal and regulatory requirements in regard to storing um, and destroying data uh, so have those controls have the destruction procedures appropriate to it um, physical alteration or destruction of the media uh, may be what we need to address and again have the the proper procedures for all of that and away we go having finished with Operation security to our final domain in law investigation and ethics.